Hello everyone, my name is Everybody School. Today we're here with the Ace Attorney Ace for herself. Katie! Yeah, Katie's here. We're here, we're all having a great time. I'm gonna say this one thing. So I know I've been telling a lot of stories about the con recently. Uh, specifically about Gussies, which was a fantastic story. But um I have one more story about the con to tell you that I was waiting for today specifically to share. I went to Artist Alley, obviously, because I loved Artist Alley. I had a lot of fun on Artist Alley. And when I was walking around Artist Alley, I found this one person who's who's selling like these really cool like sketch looking things, right? And I immediately got I immediately got my attention paid because like the first page was Nick, Phoenix Wright. And I'm like, oh my god, it's Phoenix doing the objection thing. It looks fucking sick, right? I loved it. And I turn over to the next page of the thing, it's like, it's Miles Edgeworth! Hell yeah! You know, I see both of them on there with their objection pose. I'm like Oh my god, that's so fucking great. So the guy starts talking me up. Uh, it's not the artist, uh, it's like a representative for the artist, he says. And I go, oh, very cool, very cool. Uh, do you have any more of our gay lawyers? And he goes, he goes, oh yeah, plenty more. But like, give more Asian attorneys? He's like, he's like, oh, I thought you meant gay boys. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, we love our gay boys here, don't get me wrong, but I wanted the gay lawyers specifically. <laughs> <laughs> He, he was about to show me all of the JoJo pieces, which I did eventually get to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. But I was really excited to see that, uh, that. I did not find, actually, so I did not find any Ace Attorney stickers or pins. All I saw was those two Ace Attorney, like, prints, which were fucking cool. Don't get me wrong. They were really well done. They were like super dramatic black and white with only like the objection in color. And it looked really fucking cool. But alas, I'm not gonna pay 60 bucks for that. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. It was really cool though. Oh shit, this is where we were, right now. Yeah. Um, what did we just do? We just, I, th I think we just proved that yeah. that was the. Yeah. We did. Um, what was our next stop? Uh, check the court records, see if they said anything. Oh, here we go. We have uh, a, yeah. Oh, we gotta go back to, uh, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Phoenix is Daddy, yes, but... <laughs> it took me so long to recognize that Noodle's name was just bad. I, I got a question. I it out pretty fast. You did. You oh. pointed it out. I got a question. There's okay. a vote. There's a vote poster behind there. Are we gonna have to deal with anything politics related this game? Like, is this foreshadowing? Um, I mean, the Ace Attorney games have always been slightly political in that they have something to say on the justice system. Oh yeah. Just ever so slightly. Um, like for example. It's kind of spoilers, so I don't know if I want to get into it. We'll get that later, some then. Something that happens later is because Japan specifically was considering a certain reform at the time. Okay. To uh, how law worked. So we'll get there. I, I was um, just curious if, like, but... this, if this was like... Because this seemed too detailed. This picture seemed a little too detailed to be like just a normal background piece. And I was wondering if this... Is this like a thing I like... Don't... I think so by hovering over it, but... Let's take a quick gander. Oh, shit, nope. Oh, never mind, okay. I was just curious. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's just a thing. Yeah, I remember you told me, that, like, Ace Attorney was always a very subtle commentary, or at least a little bit of a commentary on um, Yeah, it's Japanese a bit law. of a commentary where there is kind of, uh, over there, it's more of a guilty until proven innocent type of thing, Yeah, from what I hear, because uh, they don't want the cops to lose face if mm. they get the wrong person. It's what I hear. I don't... Know you don't know the for sure, yeah. In detail, so I will add that disclaimer. But I've heard, you know, they have a very, very high conviction rate over there, which on one, which you know, you hope that that means that their cops are just that good. Yeah. But on the other hand, does it mean that? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Chip. I would just, we just, this is just like whatever. Yeah. yeah. Little plums not here. <laughs> oh god, what was her voice again? It was something... 
Okay, who's the wise guy who spit gum out on the street? Her voice carries all the way around from the street from the inside of the mansion. She's a neat freak. How cute. You there, it was you, wasn't it? Fess up. I hope you've said your prayers. You're gonna need them. Trucy, let's leave now. <laughs> I love Plum, she's great. Um, but yeah, hey Chip, I'm glad you are alive. That is a very important thing. That is a very important thing. Okay, where are we supposed to go? The fucking... Oh. Fuck this guy! They call him Hickfield now. Chip, they no, brought it, back. No, he's still hottie. The Hickfield Clinic is just a clinic. Right, okay. Chip, they brought back Dr. Hottie. And I fucking hate this. I don't know if you were here last game. They brought back fucking Dr. Hottie. And they, they, they decided we're not going to bring back Gumshoe, but we'll bring back Dr. Hottie. They also brought yeah, back... Yeah, and he's also creepier than usual. Yeah. yeah. They also brought back Emma, and she is very pretty. Emma's pretty pretty. I wasn't? Yeah, don't worry, Chip, Chip let's hope you don't have to there's, deal with him again. There's a number of things with this case where it's just, we all need to just get through them and be normal together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, not, uh, no, his name is oh, Dr. Hearfield here, Dr. yeah. Hill. I thought for sure it was Dr. Hottie. What? Yeah, so, the, you know, there's Phoenix Wright, Trucy Wright, Dr. Hickfield, Guy Eldon, Plum Kataki. Uh, the- the heiress, and then... Emma. I've been doing other things? Well, welcome back, Chip. Yo, I- I have actually changed Phoenix's voice a little bit, Chip, so I- instead of being like my normal voice, I've gotta kinda talk like this for Phoenix, you know? A little deeper, a little bit older, nothing too different. And then when it comes to Apollo, I gotta talk a little bit like this, young, excited, really energetic! But also, fuck, everything's bullshit here. Yo, how's it go? Steady, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. <laughs> I would like to remind you, Steph. Yeah. Phoenix is 33. Phoenix is 30? Phoenix is 33. He is, isn't he? Hold on. He is! Oh my god! <laughs> just... Ah, oh, I'm so... <laughs> like, what a mood. I just, mean... Uh... <laughs> I mean, Elijah just keeps telling me that I have one foot in the grave, basically, so... <laughs> and I'm only 30! <laughs> <laughs> Let's old daddy get some well-deserved R&R. The elderly lady is the rest. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Trucy! I don't need this from you, too! God damn it! <laughs> I just wish I had much. I just wish I had as much hair as Phoenix did, honestly. Uh, is, <laughs> uh, is he only thirty-three? Um, when we've cleared up most of the cases, I was right about you. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out, if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing. He found my clothing so quickly. Jiminy <laughs> Game, why? Almost like he was the one who stole them. No, Trucy! <laughs> you have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me the 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from Mericatus Clinic. Hmm. I'm trying to see what the joke is here. Merik Merikatus? Stick? Air... M? No, okay, it's nothing backwards either. Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside of the clinic. Maybe something happened? What was that inflection? I'll never know. <laughs> What's this Maricatus clinic, anyways? All I've heard are rumors. The, the clinics 
been making good money in a bad way. <clears throat> bad? Ties to organized crime, the Kentucky family. <laughs> oh no, the colonel's in on it! <laughs> God damn it, the colonel's in on it, fuck! Oh, gotta get all of them polys and chickens out, chickens out of there. Um, the Kentucky- oh! <laughs> okay, now I get what's happening. <laughs> Organ selling, right? Uh, the Kataki family? He did that on purpose! Some injuries you can't take to the public hospital, see? They use the Mercatus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. It looked like something had happened in that park. Ah, a body was found in there. A body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more usual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. <laughs> Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to Mercatus's place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case for your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah, my bloomers. <laughs> that leaves the noodle stand. Huh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. <laughs> Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <sighs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. I'm curious if he's gonna, like reference having met Emma before or not. Like, obviously this came out before- Did this come out before that DLC came out? Um, I don't remember if it did or not. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm not- I'll say that there is a reference. I won't say what it is. Alright, cool. Oh! You, you're you're the woman from the Kataki place. Yes. I knew it. Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well you've come to the right place. Fuck off, this I love way, it. Please. <laughs> I fucking love that. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if there's an a joke anagram. there. Well, no, A L I T A, T I A. Oh, it's almost. It's almost, it's an, almost anagram. an anagram. Yeah, it's almost an anagram. If, but her name's not Kataki. No, it's not. But she's an heiress to the Kataki fortune, isn't she? I have a request. She looks very devious. I do not trust that smile. It looks like she's- wait, she's- oh, she's married! Or she's engaged. She has a- she has- a, she has an either an engagement ban or a wedding ring on, on her left hand. Which, mind you, I- for a long time I never knew it was the left hand, I thought it was the right hand for some reason. For a long time, so I kept wearing rings on my left ring finger. And like, Steph, are you married? I'm like, oh shit, right, right now. <laughs> I think um, it's because your left hand's closer to your heart. Meh. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> You're like, whatever. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wedding ring, that's what matters, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I get it for like, you know, going out. If I ever get married, I wear them the left hand, but you know what I'm saying. But the one thing does stick out about her. Two things stick out about her. One, that wedding ring. Two, that bow on her wrist. That feels out of place. Like, she's very green and yellow, aside from her earrings, but that bow is just like a big, big, like, something's weird here. I don't know what it is. How'd she get in our fucking apartment? How'd she get in the fucking right agency without us being there? I mean, yeah, Mafia, fair enough. Uh, your request, uh, let me guess, something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says, now defending, so I thought... 
What? You mean, you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened? I broke through the window, yeah, Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your clothing? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Called it. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? So, what's your story? You frequent the Kataki Mansion, yes? Oh, she's marrying into the Kataki family. Are you a member of their, um, <clears throat> organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a, uh, gulp? A gangster? Yes, but the Katakis are re locally responsible gangsters. <laughs> They're homegrown and organic, <laughs> locally farmed gangsters. Uh, do you know Wave the House Husband? They're like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a guy who dresses the, as Tachan from Wave the House Husband. He was fantastic. Oh, nice. I loved it. Incredible. I thought that'd be a nice change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I knew there was something in her fucking smile. She's a devious son of a gun. I think you're on to something. Trucy, no. Mrs. Kataki, I like the sound of that. Trucy, no. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park, near the Kataki mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But here the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Oh, he's the kind of person who goes and murders people with pistols. Well, shit! <laughs> Your fiancé is a Kataki family-only son, right? His name's Waki. Waki Kataki. <laughs> I brought a photo. Waki Kataki, oh my god! He has a blue badger shirt, I wanna punch him so bad. He looks like a fucking, like... He... Okay. Oh, look at his, like, hair! That's, like, little ears! I know, and I want to punch him for it. No, <laughs> yeah, I love his ear hair. <laughs> I want to punch him. He he reminds me of Cody Hackins. <laughs> he does remind me. He gives me that same shit-eating vibe that Cody Hackins has, okay? <laughs> I'm getting Cody Hackins flashbacks. <laughs> he also has the blue badger. Why does the... Okay. That blue badger oh, no, looks that's... so much cooler than the other blue badger. I think that's one of, like... So, in investigations, you, there's like a whole blue badger family. I think that might be a criminal blue badger. <laughs> <laughs> a blue badger gone rogue. Well, that's um quite the photo. I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But he has. But if he's the boss's only son. Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already, of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime bosses son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. That's not the right attitude. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Oh, nice. Right, let's check out the scene of the crime. Well, I should do prepare that. Let's see here. Walkie Katake. Hit. A letter of request, huh? 
What kind of request? I, I thought this would be a, 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 a defense request. <laughs> I thought this would be a defense request. <laughs> you know? How does this envelope say hit request? Um, it's a bit of lingo, like calling a hit or a hitman. Ooh, you mean gangster talk? So, so, does hit mean to defend in gangsterese? Well, hitman? Oh, don't call me that. I certainly hope not. Something tells me she used the wrong envelope. Okay. Okay. Present. I'm just curious. Oh, no, yeah. I hope that's okay. I've never written a letter of request before. Oh, it's fine. I should hope it's your first. If we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene and definitely not be arrested on the spot. <laughs> For giving them a hit request. Oh, fu oh, oh, okay, we can see him. I want to give this guy a voice, too, huh? Polly, you look as happy as a clam in its shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. <clears throat> you need something? Ah, yes, we're attorneys. Something we could see Mr. Walkie Kataki? Sorry, he's in question right now. Could you take a, could take a while? Jurat. Oh well, I guess we'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. Now, what kind of shit-eating voice am I gonna have to give him? <laughs> She's still at it too, huh? That's a new motorcycle. What did that get there? So, this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, it's... Hey, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh. Why does it say hit request on it? Miss Tala? Miss Tiala must have used the Kataki stationery. See, hey, that's um, you. We'll say it's me for now, but it might not be. It might be the motorcycle owner. Mm. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Nope, I knew it. <laughs> oh, the handsome man. All right, what was what was his voice? It was it had a German inflection, right? A German playboy, something's like this. <laughs> I love that. Actually, we'll see if it sticks. But it, it, it doesn't hurt my throat, so that's good. All right, let's go with that for oh, now. Oh, it's then. you, Mister Gavin. And Who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies, but this is the first time I've felt this way with a man. Immediately out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at him. He's just like, let me look at this pretty boy. <laughs> let me look at this pretty Apollo. Uh, Mr. Um, Gavin? Oh, they're related, ain't they? Ah, uh, Fräulein, what a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place. Can I help? Yes. Policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. Oh, you must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the crime scene. Ooh, really? <clears throat> By you leave, officer. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, sir, of course, sir. Oh, very well, this way, Fräulein. <laughs> Do keep in mind, he's, he is a rock singer. I can't! Oh, goofy! Oh my god. <laughs> that was worse than 
German accent if it's too much. <laughs> no, 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 this is funny. I mean, we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. The accent's fine. It's finding the voice now. And this is a, this is an accent that anyone in Germany, if if Mousy or Dave, who is from, who I believe is from Germany, comes into the stream, they're gonna absolutely hate me. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. Wee. Hey, what about me? Oh, found the stand. That not enjoy your invest I went a little French. Holy shit! Wait, hold on. I got. I gotta. I gotta get. I gotta get in. I gotta get in my Brian mood. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got. I got. I gotta channel Brian. Um. What? What, what is that f famous line from Brian before he dies on Brian? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Taz. Brian, the fucking uh, dark oh. spider. Right. No, you, I don't think you want that, Brian. <laughs> I want to use this like a base. I'm not getting this. We have the Zeb. I cannot go very French. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get off that. Fr I, I actually hit that French area right there. I was like, on the note, enjoy your investigation. <laughs> like, no. On the note, no. <laughs> oh. I can speak a little oh, like this. Why? Oh. oh, it's just, it's just like it's the first thing I can think of when I'm like trying to do this German accent, huh? On that note, enjoy your investigation. Yeah, it sounded too French. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Will we see you again? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Ask the wind for a line, I'll be riding on it. Alright, stereo. Let's see. Our typical German accent. Google, help me out here. All right, you two help me out here. Hold on. Two types oh of German goodness. accents. Let's, hold on, I'm going to listen to this real quick. Hold on. All right, so there are, there, are two ang there are two accents according to this YouTube video. One is the angry German and one is the gay German. To me, I feel like we're getting it. With that sort of characterization, we're getting into dangerous territory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Eek. Apollo, look, a, a corpse. What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, you sure got me. Ahem, might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Ta Tiala. Damn, she got it right. Thanks, it took you 30 minutes to figure that out? <laughs> oh my god, we've been here for 30 minutes? So it's all the mannequin there. It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. Is that how the body was? Okay. The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. I miss Gumshoe. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. <laughs> just in case I ever see Nick and his and his assistant <laughs> Maya. <laughs> um, Detective Sky. 
quiet, please. It's snack time. Fucking mood. I love her attitude. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, and they won't give me the position I requested. Then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. Oh, okay. He? Who's he? Next defense attorney? Um, is that the sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. I love her attitude so much. <laughs> she is goals. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. Oh, wait. Never Do we have to do this? Yeah. So she's not answering basically oh okay i'm the type of sky yeah it's all the same oh i love her attitude though look i wish i could do that at work <laughs> wait what if i present a picture of nick i don't have a picture of nick oh hold on um, if you could spare a moment to take a look at this. Can't you see that I am extremely, extremely busy? Eating snacks, yes. Busy eating snacks, I'd say. This is going nowhere fast. Um, if you- okay, yeah. Well, let's start examining things. I think I found the noodle stand, by the way, Katie. Believe it or not, I think I found awesome it. Blair. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, no messing with the crime scene. But, but, but we need to investigate! Apollo, look, that stand. It says Eldun. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I've noticed. No, that's- that- that is the Ladoom stand, right? Well, we've solved that- we solved the case of the missing stand, at least. So the circumstances could be- could stand to be better. Oh my god, Emma. Yeah, you need, uh, something to unblock her. Yeah. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals. Scientifically. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I'd better check in what we came here to find. Yeah, what we came here to find, at least. What did we come here to find again? Well, we did... We checked off that we found the noodles. Yeah, I probably I have to go see that... right now at this point. Yeah. I feel like- I feel like we're gonna be like, hey, right, um, some detective lady talk about defense attorneys. Ah, oh, you're back! We're onto some problems. <clears throat> oh, Polly, you didn't- didn't you want to tell Betty something? Who, me? No, I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem. No, 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 no problem. Actually, I- Got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me! Oh, right! <laughs> You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose! I know it! Murder! So what's, the, what's about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. 
Did you know? That's unusual indeed. I definitely did not know about this ahead of time, nor was I able to make any deduction about this in any way, shape, and or form. What a wild mystery. I would have never guessed anything like this could potentially happen. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. You've heard weirder, right? You've heard weirder than a noodle stand being used as a weapon. That's all I'm gonna say. I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? A funny detective lady won't let us in on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. Hello, Daddy. Who knows all the police types? Oh wait, maybe you'll know that other guy too. That other- that other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? A ball, tell me about this Prince of Trucies. I got a shotgun in the back. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Indulge a concerned father! <laughs> at the crime scene, he looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances after a, f after a fashion. Clavier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Hey, Clavier. What a one lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling he'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, uh, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. I find it really funny, it's just like, oh yeah, a detective with a lab coat. It's impossible to anyone else. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright Well, generally detectives don't wear lab coats. Fair enough. Let's take a closer look, huh? Whoa. You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. Let's go talk to that detective. But, uh, she's sure to know what the white powder is. I think if you per- I'm trying to remember if you present it to Phoenix, he has some funny dialogue. The white powder? Yeah, before you present it to Emma. Hmm, the bottle has a label on it. Can you read it? Ah, not a word. I'm not sure I can speak whatever language it's written in. That's too bad. I guess we're stuck with this mysterious bottle of white powder. Let's send it to Phoenix real quick. Why not? Phoenix, 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 I am legitimately just going to be- Cause like, I have to do his voice a lot. I'm legitimately just going to be looking up any voice lines Clavier Gavin has. Well, I already sent you like two of my most favorite ones. The first one being that one, uh, that we already got to is just- No, 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 like if he has any actual date. like voice acting lines. Oh, um, That's yeah, what I'm I mean, he definitely- he- he- he does. Um, yeah, I'm also, he has it. a song in Japanese, but... <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe it's just M what Emma says. Um, does this ring any bells? Ah! Is that- it couldn't. Where'd you get that? Uh, I brought it from the office. 
You work at the Wright & Co. Law Offices, yes? Um, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D d daddy I'm sorry, who, who did you say you were? She's like, what the fuck? He's not married to- he's not even married to Edgeworth? He adopted a daughter? Tracy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice... Then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This battery is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. Is this, is this, did we use this in the uh, DLC? We did, right? We, we did do the fingerprints. I think, we, yeah, we did fingerprints, I'm pretty sure, so. I'm just wondering if it's like the same. Like, like he kept the same bottle for seven years and never used it again? Sounds like me. <laughs> White powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. Well, best for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Can I just, like, dust this for prints now? I guess mm. not. Excuse me. You got it. Report came in late last night. The body you found. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, <clears throat> what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age, because we don't live in America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the funny thing, I went to a museum with Elijah once, and the topic of, you know, guns being contraband came up, right? And, um, we're looking around, and I go, and I'm looking at this contraband, I'm like, oh yeah, I shot one of those back in the States when I was like a kid. He was fucking terrified, like, what? <laughs> no wonder why America's fucked up. <laughs> it's so funny. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal Mer Mercatus. I can't say it either. <laughs> yeah, I just I just add the catus because that's what I'm used to for Greek, Merac basically. Miracus. 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 That sounds right, Miracus. I just received the autopsy report exact. Cool. I mean, really. What's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where this town came from. The noodle stand's owner is... Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Who's the old... Who's, oh. who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldon's noodles, Mr. Eldon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. What sort of person was the victim, anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. What well, Phoenix Wright definitely didn't see. Huh? Look at this, Apollo. Mr. Eldoon spelled his name backwards on this side. <laughs> uh, I think it just says Noodle. 
As in Elden's noodles. Huh. Oh, I get it. You know, the wild thing is, I keep thinking of Eldon as, like, some name from Lord of the Rings. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> just like, like, Eldon of, uh, oh, fuck, what, what are the, there's Gondor, there's Rohan. Eldon of Rohan, you know, like, <laughs> Eldon, son of Rohan. <laughs> the name of his story is the same whether you read it forwards or backwards. Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last... Uh, and how about a store called Team Meat? That's a good fucking point, actually. Oh, uh, close. That would mean... Oh, fuck, never mind. <laughs> that would be Tame Mate backwards. And what kind of store is that? Buy a store that sells meat. It's not meat unless it's Team Meat. Got a my, good my attitude there. I'll say, <laughs> wait, menu ramen, 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 rice ball. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I can zoom in, right? No, I can. Oh wait, hold on. Yes, I can zoom in. Yeah, it's ramen, ramen, rice ball. That's funny. <laughs> Let's see. Um, zoom out. Anything else I gotta look at here? Oh, anything with salt? Soup. The soup and salt. I'm at the soup store. Okay, nothing else there. Oh, only thing we gotta check, actually. That's the support. Okay, nothing crazy. Who? Me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. That this guy, hmm? I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Why are you buying clothes at the soup store, Chip? Chip! <laughs> Chip! Because soup! Well, I suppose that was an option, but... <clears throat> I have a lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that, What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know that Mr. Wright's current <clears throat> state of affairs. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kataki family, yes? Walkie Kataki. I don't know if he's the Walkie Talkie! Son, but he's certainly. What? Walkie talkies. <laughs> like, I, I was like, what is this joke? There has to be a joke here somewhere, like a pun. I don't know why they're naming him after a walkie talkie, but like, is that the only fucking joke? Like, he's also a bit walkie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around violently in the detention center. Oh, damn. I see... Is he re Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, by any chance. <clears throat> um, actually, yes I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Huh? A witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. Never thought of this before. What? He's just more about the victim. Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is, uh, Maractus Clinic. 
Hmm. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked out there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. I don't think that's about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means... Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That would seem to be the case. Why? Don't ask me! Hey, don't ask me. Oh wait, now I can probably look at this shit. And this is Mr. Eldon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldon in big letters, Your doesn't it? Sellers. And that mark on this paper lamp looks very familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. There's just one case that's worse than all three of them put together. Murder. The organ sellers, yeah, 100% the organ sellers. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. A body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What, you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah! Taking care of business, little plum Kataki style. <laughs> Try not to sound too eager about that, please. It's a knife! A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. The defendant, Waki Kataki, is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Oh, look at this. There's a handprint on the ship. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. Oh. Right. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. This one. You won't even let me choose the other ones. <laughs> right. Let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. With a press of space. <laughs> like this. See? The oil left behind by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on. And blow it off. B blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? This is, after all, a DS game. Yeah. I was about to say, because I know in the DS games you could literally blow into the mic and shit would happen. Yeah. Just use R and... Wow, amazing. It's like magic. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Right, let's give it a shot. What's more than one fingerprint? It's almost like we have more than one print for our hand. <laughs> See, here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, the DS, I remember the DS, I was playing this game called Spectrobes back in the day, I loved that game so much. It was basically like a Pokemon game, but with archaeology, right? In order to get the Spectrobes out of their, like, encasings of rock, because you had to find their fossils, you had to, like, either, you had to, like, drill it, and then you had to blow on the DS to, like, blow away the dust off of it, or you could scream into the DS, because it was, like, a sonic machine that would slowly destroy the rock around the Spectrobe, you'd be like, ah, and then it would, like, slowly destroy the rock around the Spectrobe, or you could drill into it, and yada, 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 it was, it was really cool, like, this is literally, like, the DS is what, like, if you, if you guys plot a DS right now, 
If you pull out your DS and you blow in it while you're on the top screen, you'll see the thing on the top of your th DS like kind of turn around. It's really cool, actually. It's just it's one of those weird like functions never brought back in Nintendo's history, like 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 VR with the with the with the Game Boy or whatever it's called, the uh, Red Boy. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, the failed one from the 80s. Incidentally, it's important <clears throat> that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Be careful. I had to double check to make sure it's all good. I get this white powder everywhere. <laughs> Soon we'll be looking at a fully white screen. <laughs> if I have anything to say about it. Um. Wow, just two breaths. You got all that out there, huh? Hmm. Good. Clear. Quite impressive. <laughs> yeah. Next, back to the print. The police office has samples, so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. Hmm. Doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. I remember okay. this. Pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. I don't see everyone's finger. They have truces in here. <laughs> Some random police officer dying from all the dust he or she inhaled. <laughs> You know who this guy reminds me of? Oops. Fucking Morris from Stardew Valley. The Jojo guy? Mm. He looks like him. I, call, uh, I don't I don't know why you say it, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> We don't get to see Phoenixes? God damn it. I was gonna steal his identity. You mean Joja? Did I say. Did I, what did I say? Did I say Jola? Or did I say Jojo? I, did I say Jojo or Jola? I don't remember. I think you said Jojo. <laughs> Jojo Mario, that's what I meant. The figure prints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, uh, the power of science. It's my life. Paulo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. Look sharp. Spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started. I'm already losing. Are there any more, like, prints here that I could mess around with? Nope. I do have to check them just in case. No prints, thank you. No prints. I'll say that, um, we did have prints, we had toe prints on the, um... Sandals, yeah! Good point. I remember that. Be right back in just a second. Sounds good. Is it the hobby? Oh, okay. So we can't, we can't, we can't get the foot. The, the 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 thing's there. I see it. I just can't get. Oh, hello. 
They're really not letting anyone through. Okay, we've already done this, yeah. Maybe he plays in a band. Yeah, I can't get the uh, toe prints. I can't get the toesies, woesies. I cannot get the toesy woesies. I'll, I'll, I'll do Trucy's voice. You guys ready for this? Oh, Mr. Aldon, hello! Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Aw, oh, what a bummer! It's so good, guys. But it's at home? Yeah, I know, right? Like, that's, that's a rough home. That's a rough home. There's a dog here, though. Guy Elton's dog doesn't look too lively. They say dogs and their owners resemble each other. I guess there are exceptions. Mr. Elton's house has seen better days. And I'm betting I've eaten I've eaten better noodles. <laughs> I guess we're off to go talk. It's back and I have fruit. Hell yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the same voice you gave- Isn't that the same voice you gave Maya? Probably. I'm not good with, like, feminine no. voices. No, I gave Maya this voice. Oh, no, no, He was talking I to me, because I tried- I oh. tried doing- I tried doing, uh, Trucy while you were gone. Oh, yeah. I was like, Hi, I'm Trucy! This is literally <laughs> what I did, you know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> I remember your Maya voice. It was very Maya. I just stole it from Game Grumps. <laughs> what am I missing here? Did you find the foot? No, I actually could not get it. You couldn't? No. From the trash bin? No. It would have let really? me go in there, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, like, hold on, let me, let me show you again, right? Like, like, examine? Like, I, I can't click this, like, there's a big waste basket, you know, and they're just like, you aren't gonna search for your trash, yada, yada, yada. That's it, like, I can't do anything with that. That's weird, that's annoying. What about the person who's climbing the fence? Let's take a look at her. Looks like that woman's still causing trouble. Look, no one goes in. That means you. Oh, what's the difference? Let me go. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, sorry. That's it, I'm suing. I might change my mind for five bucks. What is she, some <laughs> kind of con artist? <laughs> okay, so this is definitely America, right? But also... Better gun loss. This can't be America. What am I missing here? There's gotta be a good clue to around here. You and your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my- huh? Look, another pair of... underwear? Wow, Apollo, you're a genius at finding bloomers. Stop saying that! Wait, these aren't... Th they're not mine. These have been stolen too? So, have you met- have you met the defendant? Um, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up it up here and go heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness and a knife of prints. I mention we got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. <laughs> Alright. Guys, I think we're gonna call it here for today. Uh, we can only do half of a stream today, unfortunately. However, 
We will be streaming again next week, and oh, and um, we are going to be doing a lot more shenanigans. I am excited to see where this is going with Walkie Kataki. One hell of a name this guy's got. Like, <laughs> one hell of a name. I'm glad to see Emma Sky back in action. Uh, I'm glad to see Trucy. Like, I've, I've heard a lot about Trucy. And she's always seemed like a very fun character, so I'm glad to see her again. I will literally be looking up Clavier's voice lines and just trying to mimic that voice the best I can. Um, because I know I'm going to be talking with his voice a lot this game. Um, his brother was like snobby British-ish. This guy's like a fucking rock star, playboy, German accented man. I don't know how to do that. Because believe it or not, guys, I don't know if you know this. I'm not a rock star German playboy. Like, it's hard to believe that I'm not a playboy. And it's hard to believe that I'm not a rock star. But I'm definitely not German. You know, like... You don't have- God damn it, fucking bird's back! Tweet, tweet, Anyways. tweet. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching this on YouTube. I hope you all have a good one. Y'all stay safe, stay out of school. We'll see you later, YouTube. See you. Bye. Bye.